Hey guys, uh, this is a raw edit video um, for some of the photos that I've taken for Jared Poland's froknosephoto.com uh, weekend theme. Uh, it's the weekend of 4th and 5th of March? Yeah, 4th and 4th, well, 3rd and 4th, 3rd and 4th and then the 5th and the 6th are the Monday and the Tuesday. Um, so the uh, theme this week was Leap, because it's uh, a leap year. Um, so with that in mind, and uh, with a lot of tennis photography that I've uh, been doing over the last few weeks, um, instantly came to mind a um, capture that I could do uh, with someone hitting a smash, uh, so a back foot smash where you, where you tend to get off the floor. I've got one of Federer, which I will try and find in a second in Lightroom. Um, but uh, before we go into there, just like you to show my new desktop wallpaper, which is the new Caterham Re uh, Renault Caterham or the Caterham Renault Formula One car, which just looks fabulous. I love it. I love the Lotus uh, as it was last year. This year it's a Caterham. Uh, it's got the bright green, British Racing green, and the yellow wheels. Um, I've got a car that I am currently working on, which I'm going to hopefully do as a bit of an homage. Uh, to this one. Um, so I've got, a, I've got some yellow wheels going, I've got some green paint for the body, uh, so I'll show you all about that uh, in another video coming up. Um, but for now, let's pop into Lightroom and we're going to have a look at uh, the shoot. So what we've got, we've got all the photos here. Um, I'll just quickly go and see if I can find that one of Federer. If we go to tennis, 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 we haven't got those ones down there, so we're going to have to scoot all the way up on my Photo, there we go. So Federer was before Nadal, that's Nadal, that's the doubles, that's before we got kicked out. Here's Fed, where's Fed with his back foot smash? There's no better person to demonstrate a back foot smash than Mr. Roger Federer, and there it is. No, it's not, that's his warm up. So I'll quick scan through again, see if I can find it very, very quickly. There it is. That's the one. So back foot smash. Um, if <laughs> if I was lucky enough to actually have that um, photograph this weekend, then um, I would straight away um, pop that up for the weekend theme. Uh, this is shooting with my 300, so 7300 um, at one two hundredth of a second. Uh, it doesn't obviously doesn't quite doesn't quite freeze the motion. I've got the ball just up at the top here. You've got the racket for, um, blurring out. But that, guys, is a back foot smash. You can see you've got plenty of air, uh, and you're really trying to get behind the ball. So you've got uh, a quite a cool um, body shape. So what we've done, and another thing that I'm going to do at some point is just show you how I've set up all my collections um, to better organise my photos, which um, I've been just thinking about uh, recently, um, how to find my photos and everything. So what we've got here, we've got a tennis set. Uh, and then underneath that we've got a collection here which is the smash shoot and these are all the photos that I've taken uh, today uh, that's all the ones from the shoot uh, we've got two people um, two friends who were doing the shoot for me we've got Wayne who's one of the coaches down at uh, the gym that I coach at and also if we go to this guy here that is a guy called Will Smith not Will Smith the actor Will Smith the tennis coach so, what we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly run through, uh, tell you how I chose the ones to edit, and then I'm going to go quickly go through and just edit a couple of these as well. So, what we do, um, I'm going to start with these photos here, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to scan through, uh, and if I like the photo, I'm just going to press P, and it flags it as a pick. And if I don't like the photo, I'm just going to leave it. So that one there uh, needs flagging, so I'm going to hit P, and you'll see that down here on the... Um, what that's called, uh, photo stream. Uh, it just shows up with a little flag there. Um, I've done some of them already, so uh, that one there is not particularly, not particularly a great photo. I can't see his face. Uh, he's not particularly off the floor. All the, all the only good thing about that is I can see the racket. Uh, there's no ball in. We weren't using the ball. We were just trying to see if they could just shadow the shot for me. Uh, we did get a ball in in, in uh, a few shots. Uh, same again. Good photo. I can see the face. I can see the racket, but his feet aren't off the floor, so don't want that one for the theme. That's just Mr. Wayne walking around. That's the preparation. That's going up. There's a smash. Uh, that one is picked, if you can see. 
That one's got the little flag down there, and also it's highlighted here on that flag. As is that. That's uh, definitely off the floor. It's quite a cool capture. Uh, that's off the floor, but his hand is unfortunately just in front of his face, so I've scrapped that one. Don't want to pick that. I'll just scan through some of these a little bit quicker. There's another picked. Uh, scan, 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 scan. And there's a pick. Uh, quite annoyed that I missed the top of the racket off there because that's a great emotion on his face as well. Just scan in and have a look at his face. There we go. Uh, reasonably sharp with the lens. The lens um, is a little bit soft on the focus as I'm finding. It's a 35 to 70, 3.3 uh, to 4.5 aperture. This is shot at 3.3. Um, but yeah, just annoyed that I missed the top uh, of the racket there. Uh, but it is a pick. Uh, that's a pick as well, that, just a quite nice kind of ending shot. He's still got one foot off the floor, so I might use that one as well. Put that in and see how it, see how it works. On, uh, I'm allowed to pop five in, so I'll get to my five and see if it makes the cut. Scan through these again. One, two, three, four, five. That's motor driving through. You'll see I've just about got one. That one's picked as well. Again, it's an end. His feet are off. Uh, motor driving this one as well, I believe. One, two, three, and starting to use a ball and the throw it wasn't very very good so uh, he got ready to hit the, hit the smash came up to hit the smash, jumped up to hit the smash and then the ball just didn't come so he just caught it uh, same again with this one and that's Wayne's last photo and then we go on to Mr <laughs> Will Smith who is an absolute nutcase um, he's a good he's a good, good lad, a really really good guy uh, but he's just, a, he's just a lunatic, I love him, he's brilliant um, so He's going up, and uh, we've got some fantastic facial expressions here from Mr. Will, uh, keeping an eye on his imaginary ball that he's just thrown up here. Um, great contact, he's getting some good air as well, so he's got some great shots here. Uh, I don't know why that one's not picked, let's pack, pick that one, flag it as a pick. Let's just check that one's got a pick as well, it hasn't, so we'll flag that one. Let's scan through again, that is fantastic. Great. Um, Great dynamic uh, pose with the legs, uh, plenty of air off the floor, ridiculous face, and annoying that I'm just missed off the top of the racket. Um, so, great photo from there, from there down, and then uh, up. Not so great. Annoyed that I've cut off that. So, not a pick on that one. Uh, annoying. Uh, that's definitely a pick. That's brilliant. Let's come through again. That's a pick. Uh, that is a pick. That is a pick. Off the air, yep, in the air, brilliant. Uh, that's a landing, but it's a great pick as well. Liking that, that's definitely a pick as well. Feet together doesn't add quite as much dynamic um, as you would see there or there, but uh, still pretty sweet. Uh, there's a landing with his eyes closed, we'll skip that. And then that is <laughs> the last shot of the day. Thank you very much. We've got to do a silly one, Chris. Okay, you do a silly one and I'll capture it. And he comes up with that. Fantastic. So that is definitely being edited and it's definitely going in the top five that I'm going to uh, post up. Um, so let's just go through and edit one of these. Which one should we pick? What we can do, now we've got all of these run through. Uh, we can filter them and we can just filter the ones that are just flagged. So that will now go down to, you'll see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 photos picked there. Okay, so let's just pick a nice simple one. Uh, the lighting is pretty much the same on all of them, uh, so we'll just pick one right in the middle and we're going to edit this one here. Um, right, so straight off the bat on this one. Uh, the exposure is a little bit out, it just looks a little bit underexposed. Um, and you can see up here we've got a peak up here, which will be the sky uh, on the histogram, and then lots of data down here, which is all quite low. And flat, so we need to bump that up so there's a little bit more data in our editing as well. Um, but until then, let's just sort out this exposure. So we're going to go up to the top and then bump the exposure maybe half a stop. There we go, just bringing out some detail in there indeed. There we go, just doing it by eye and it does turn out to be half a stop. Add some contrast in very, very slightly. I'm going to add some uh, white balance in a second, but I like doing the white balance after I've done. Kind of the basic um, bits in here, uh, and also just have a look at just have a look at the tone curve as well. So we're going to add a few highlights just to bring out the face. Um, don't worry about the sky. 
Um, and then the shadows, there's not actually that much shadow, so we're going to add a bit of shadows but leave the darks where they are because obviously if we move the darks then we'd start affecting it a little bit too much. So we might just add a fraction of darks in. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. Now he's got a, a red uh, pair of boxes, so I just want to take the saturation down on the red pair of boxes so they're not quite as prominent. Uh, and that'll also add a little bit of colour and definition into his face. Uh, sharpening, let's just pick his eye here, should have focus on there. Going to add a fraction bit of sharpening and then mask off just the edge detail, not the textures. So you can see here we're, we're sharpening, if we mask here, we're sharpening off. If you look down at the bottom of the tennis court, you'll see we're sharpening all the uh, individual AstroTurf uh, grains, whereas if we take that up and up and up and up and up, we only want to sharpen like the edge detail, so around his shorts, around his creases and things like that. So that's why we mask off. And we're going to add, because this lens is a little bit soft on the on the focus, not particularly crystal clear, we're just going to add 10 on the noise reduction or 13. So we get 13 on the noise reduction just to smooth out a few of those finer lines. Um, unfortunately I can't enable profile corrections on this one because it doesn't know what the lens is so we can cancel that one off and we are going to add a little bit of highlight priority vignetting just to bring in these corners a little bit because it's a very very central image and I, I like the fact that it's a central image as well so I'll just bring that in and you'll see we're starting to add a little bit of colour in the sky as well we'll sort that out in a second bring a little bit of colour into the sky um, Roundness, let's just pull that into about there and just increase the feather slightly. I don't want it to be too prominent. Now, one thing you can see just up here is that is the lamp post, uh, spotlight lamp post. So, we're going to have to unfortunately just crop in a slight bit there uh, and I'm going to move it up to, so we get in as much of the court as we can. Click OK or done. Let's have a look at the before and after on that. Yeah, it's going somewhere I like, that's good. I'm liking that. Uh, I'd like to bring out a little bit more detail in that blue. So, we come up to here, we've got a luminance, and all we're going to do is I'm just going to add, there we go, just a little, just brightening up the blue in here. And you'll see if we take that down, it darkens all, the, all that up. Whereas if we push it up, it's just going to bring out a little bit more detail. So that's that there. Um, anything else? I'm pretty much liking where that's going at the moment. Uh, it's good. Let's see if we can just pop the green. So saturation of the green. After all, it is a tennis court. I want to want to show off the uh, green, green grass, even though it's not grass. And anything else? I can't see anything obvious to uh, sort out up there. So the last thing we're going to do is just going to see if we can bring down some of the exposure on the sky. So. Maximum feather, maximum flow, maximum density, size will need to be as large as we can so we can get a nice feather. And all we're going to do is just burn in a little bit around the edges there. This is this is obviously very, very extreme because I'm at a stop and a half. So we're going to fade that out in a second. Da -da -da. We can go over the trees as well because that will bring out some of the detail in the trees. All right. If we take that down to a stop and see what that looks like with and without, there we go. A little bit more of a vignette around Mr. Will Smith. Make the brush slightly smaller so I can just get into that area in between his racket. And also in there. There we go. So just got a bit of the sky held in there as well. I'm liking this, this is good. Um, in terms of the black or the darker bricks down here, if we can, remember we did uh, drop the red because of the uh, boxer shorts, what we might be able to do is just push the orange just slightly so we can bring out some details in there as well. Being careful it's not going to affect his face too much, in fact it's lightening his face quite well so that's it's all good, but just bring out some detail in the orange as well. So, there we go. There's um, the edit for Mr. Will Smith. So, what we can do now, we select on the first photo of Will. 
Yep, that's the first photo of Will. We might actually be able to use all of them, so if we select all of them, then we can edit around them. So we're going to select all our photos down here in our timeline. Um, so we've got them all selected, but we want to individually select this one. So click on that one, that's going to be our uh, base to sync all these photos now. So we're going to synchronize all the photos to, according to the settings that I've just changed on this one. So what we're going to do, click on sync. Um, I don't usually do spot removal crop uh, or crop on a sync uh, because they're particularly, usually anyway, they're very uh, photo specific. Uh, but you can remember we also did um, some um, burning into the sky and we don't really want to keep that either because that might change depending on each one. So I might just take that out as well, which is local adjustments. There we go. So we'll just turn all that off straight away. Leave everything else on um, because we want everything else that we've done on it. And we'll all synchronize. Here we go, three, two, one, click, click. And now it's going to synchronize and it's going to add all those to all of these photos here. Um, the only one that will probably need some tweaking as well is going to be our exposure because remember we bumped this one by half a stop. Um, so this was taken probably 20 minutes after. The shots have waned, so these might need just pulling back. In fact, you can see, just need to pull, pull these back just a little bit, just so we can keep, keep the detail in wane. Actually, that's not actually too bad. Left where it was, so we've got away with that one. Okay. Um, last thing, last thing I want to do is just run through and check all the crops. So. That one there, you can see that one's very, very overexposed. That was the first one I took, so we can pull the exposure back on that one. There we go, much better. Um, so, just run through, and I'm just going to check that I didn't capture, that's quite a good one because we got the ball in, and that we didn't get any annoying little things like this. Get rid of that straight away, thank you very much. This is probably not the best thing to do in Lightroom, but I don't really want to drop it into Photoshop right now. Uh, Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. How's this going to look once I've done it? Click, and we're going to sample that bit there. How much bigger can we make it? Whoop! Massive. There we go, let's make it massive. Sample that. It's not actually that bad. Just messes up down there, so we can. Hmm. Uh, I'd probably take that into Photoshop and just, just tidy that edge off. Uh, but at the moment it just takes that out of the way. So I'll drop that into Photoshop in a second. Uh, it's gone on that one, so I've corrected that, you'll see. There's the first one and there's the second one. Um, now here we've got the lamppost or the spotlight, so I'm going to have to crop that one out, so just slide that one in there. And again, like we did with Will, we want to keep the grass, so push that up into this bottom corner to keep that. Ching, and that's actually distracting me now I've seen it. So let's make that a little bit smaller. Uh, ah, can't really get rid of that. That's annoying. Might be able to sample that. That works a bit better. Keeps a post. Keeps a post. But just gets rid of the That'll do. Again, I'll probably just take that one into Photoshop as well if I end up using it. Um, so actually what we can do is we can start that one. And there was the other one. If we end up using this one as well. There's that one there with the blur. I'll start that one as well. Set it to 5, just so they show up. So I know that if I do pick them up, I've just got to do a little bit more work in Photoshop. Uh, da -da. Just checking any crops. That's that one as well, looks. So we've just got that. In there, so just pull that in and back down onto the bottom of the court to keep the court in. We want as much court as we can. And that's a cracker, I like that one. Even the facial expression, that's a good one as well. He's got some preparation there, you can see on his racket. Um, that's called uh, the, the first stage of uh, pronation on uh, his smash. Uh, let's check this one as well, that one's pretty sweet. That's good. That's good, nothing needs cropping on that. And that's good as well. And actually, we've missed. Let's just unflag flow filters off because we've missed the best shot of the day. We need to pick that one. Thank you very much. I'm having that. 
go back into flag uh, and we're going to sync that photo with the one next to it so that one's got it as well and um, because this is a particular photo like this we're going to crop right in and keep it tight like that so I know we've lost quite a bit of the data I'm just going to expand that a little bit more uh, I know we've lost quite a bit of data but it's such a good photo it just needs to be crammed right in or jammed straight in uh, da -da -da, there we go okay guys so Thank you very much for watching. That was just a uh, quick video going through uh, the photo shoot today. This was for the fronosphoto.com uh, weekend theme for the 3rd and 4th, 3rd and 4th of March. Um, and the theme was Leap. So being a tennis coach and shooting a lot of tennis, I thought it'd be a great idea uh, not only to get uh, a Leap photo, um, but also to get some good quality photos to put um, into my portfolio and, and uh, really kick off um, my portfolio as a, as a tennis photographer. So these are the ones that I'm going to run through now. I'm going to pick five, I'm going to put them up on Flickr uh, and they will be up on the fronosphoto.com forum. Thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, please check out my blog page that is chrisfrossin.blogspot.com should be turning up somewhere around here um, and also just check uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, guys, and I shall see you anon. Have a good one.